So, we're trying to do a second video of this because my first video was destroyed. My hard drive, my computer, recently crashed, and so I had to recompile all of the footage I had, which wasn't much because I pretty much just found the old SD cards from the original footage that I didn't use for the first video, and then compiled it, and like, it's all of the parts of me just doing this. Really kind of boring. I sped it up like 2,000%, so nobody has to watch me do this for long. I try to make it as fast as possible and just use this as a chance to explain what I'm doing. Um, so here we go. It's a Lighthouse Hydro Black Star LED I got from a guy on Craigslist. It was half broken. I got it with a bunch of other hydro stuff that I was picking up off of him. So it was just kind of an extra uh, thing that I figured that I'd mess with since it was junk anyways. So from junk to junk. Uh, what originally was on here was the big giant PCB board of all of the LEDs. One had burnt out and I think it was the UV one had just like up and burst. So I unscrewed it which is where you see all those like grids of drilled in pieces and then I took XPGs, I put thermal paste on it, I epoxy glued it because it was a pretty cheap thing to do and um, just went with that. Then I soldered, it's uh, my first time soldering uh, in this video I believe and I had a Weller solder. I'm gonna recommend you go and take the time and drop a couple bucks and go and buy some good solder, soldering iron and all that kind of stuff because it's worth it, it really makes a difference because I was burning, a big problem that I had with this was it wasn't heating up hot enough but when it did I was holding the wire with like a uh, tweezer and when every time I would hold the tweezer and it wouldn't solder but it heat up the wire I would then burn through the rubber insulation around the wire and then the wire would be exposed in the middle of it and it was a big problem for me and it was really fucking annoying and so I bought a in my newer videos I bought a better soldering iron and I haven't had that problem because I could heat it up so fast and just get it soldered to it so quick that it's not even a problem um, and then actually the problem I see in the future ones that it was kind of stupid as I soldered while they're on the heat sink so that was kind of dumb but anyways so what you're looking at is the XPG ones the like original model there are three volts and I'm running them at 500 milliamps so that's 90 volts because I used 30 of the XPGs I'm running them 500 milliamps so that's 45 watts and then I'm using each one individually at 1.5 watts which is um, you know pretty low but I will say I gave it to a friend because I didn't really have any place to use it at the moment I was gonna eventually use it but my friend needed one more so I let him borrow it and it covers his 16 by 36 inch for veg pretty decently and it's you know he just has a flood table and it's nothing to be ex you know ecstatic about I don't think it would ever produce great flowers but it's a pretty reasonably good um, use for veg it, it gives good growth I'm using 35,000 Kelvin and 5,000 Kelvin so every other one and yeah I like the color spectrum I like the results of what I'm seeing at his grow um, now that he's been using it for a little bit uh, it's not uh, you know his plants are small he does a nft system it's pretty simple and it is producing a pretty decent amount of growth that is uh, satisfying I, I would never flower with this light i don't think that would be something i'd ever use for i definitely use it for cuttings clones stuff like that but i don't think i'd ever flower with this light it's definitely not strong enough for that kind of stuff um so and don't mind the wiring the wiring got better towards the end i re-pulled everything off and made them all straight so they look all uniform and clean and I like that kind of stuff. So it took me about six hours to do this and I would say about a hundred bucks at the end. Yeah, you can see there are two drivers. Uh, they're 500 milliamps each. I only ended up using one for the whole board. So that was pretty good. So I have a whole nother driver that I can goof around with. And there you go. You're looking at the final, put it all together, screw it in. <sighs> Hopefully this turns out to be pretty decently footage, but we'll see. Yeah. So, and that last part you're covering a two by two was my test area and it had a pretty nice span. Um, that's my cabinet if it never went to my friends. But thanks for joining me guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. I try to make it quick and painless um, because redoing a video that you took time to do kind of bums you out. So this was just kind of like when you lose your homework and you just throw it in at the last minute to make an excuse for doing so. But um, yeah, so let me know what you think. If you have any questions or anything I forgot or anything you'd like to know. Thanks guys. Peace.